So ACAR was introduced in 2021, but only began being enforced last year. So could you explain a little bit about what ACAR is? Yeah, uh, ACAR, it comes from the full name of the authority we call uh, Auditing and Accounting Regulator in Cambodia. Previously, it called uh, an AC. So the requirement for the enterprise uh, to submit their financial statement, it came into force in 2021, as you mentioned. So all enterprise that they have the financial statement, either audited or non-audited financial statement, they need to submit their yearly financial statement to ACAR every year mm -hmm. and the timeline I, I want to explain that for enterprise that they have audited financial statement for the timeline that they need to upload or submit the report to ACR is six months 15 days after the GN closing and for the enterprise that they have the unaudited financial statement they need to submit the report to ACAR uh, three months 15 uh, 15 days after the, they are closing their year and so let's say for enterprise that they have a 2023 financial statement this year and the financial statement is not subject to audit they are, the deadline for their submission the report to ACAR is due by 15 April this year or if the enterprise they have a different tax year rather than 31st December they need to submit the report to ACAR if you are a non-audited financial mm -hmm. statement within three months, 15 days. If you never submit or register your company or in entity to with ACAR first, before you can upload the report, you need to register first. Register the email in order to use in the file e-filing because now it's online filing. It I can say it uh, it's not difficult because it's online filing, so you need to register first, obtain information and confirmation from ACAR, and then you can prepare your financial statement following the template of the ACAR on the uh, financial statement representation and upload in the ACAR website mm -hmm. or portal. This is the summary of the process. How long does it usually take for enterprises to register for ACAR? Um, it actually it depends, but we have seen from our experience, at least we can say not take really long, like two or three working days, mm -hmm. if uh, you start doing it now. So uh, the most important information is to upload the company information and email address to get a confirm from ACA. Could you clarify also which enterprises need to have audited or non-audited financial statements? Yeah, um, for the enterprise first, if they are the QIP, we call Qualified Investment Project, or public limited company, it a must that they need to have the audited financial statement. And also it refers to the enterprise that they meet two or the three criteria. First is that you have the employee, uh, more than 100 employee in your company, or you have your annual turnover up more than, sorry, more than 4, million, 4 billion Khmeria, which is around 1 million USD per year, and also refer to the company that have the total annual asset more than um, 3 billion, year, 3 billion uh, Khmer per year, mean, which means around 750,000 uh, USD per year. So if you, your enterprise meet those two among the three conditions, you need to have the audited financial statement by the external auditor which have the license from because KIPPA. Mm -hmm. yep. And for the enterprise that did not meet those conditions, you are not required to have audited financial statement. All right, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. You. This was B2B Cambodia's tax update. Thank you for watching. Come back for more episodes where we break down Cambodia's tax laws and regulations.